everybody. Welcome to our first math lesson online. Today we are going to learn something new that we haven't talked about before and it's called arrays. So we're going to learn about what an array is and we're also going to learn how to multiply arrays. And I know a lot of, of you guys have been dying to learn multiplication so we're going to get right into that today and I'm so excited. So here we go. Oh, Please, please, please get like a scratch piece of paper and a pencil if you have one because we're going to be doing a lot of practice problems together. It's going to be a lot more different uh, than reading because it's going to be a lot more interactive. So if you have paper and pencil, try to go get it now, okay? I'm going to get mine ready too. Okay, so I got my paper and I got my pens. I am ready to go. Here we go. All right. So here we go. I am using your orange Origo math book that we used to use in class, the stepping stones one with a little like baby rooster in the front. And if you went to school and got yours and you want to use it right now, I am on page 166. So 166. If you do have your book, then you can go ahead and work through the problems in your book. I'm going to give you time throughout the video to work your problems. If you don't have your book, then that's what that pen and paper is for. So you'll just label the letter that you're doing like A or B, and you'll write your answer on just a blank sheet of paper. And I'll give you an example of how you can do that. Okay, so first we need to describe how what equal groups are. So let's look at these bags of apples. What do you notice about these bags of apples right here? I notice that they're green. I notice that it looks like it's, I don't know, let's see. Count for me real quick and tell me how many apples are in each bag. So not total, but how many is in each bag? So let's count. We have one, two, three, four. This one has one, two, three, four. This one has one, two, three, four, okay. So we know that there's four in each bag, but how could we figure out the total? So how could we figure out how many is in all of these bags without counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? How could we figure it out without counting by each apple? So, what he's saying is that you can count in steps of four. So you can go four, eight, twelve, which means that three bags of four apples is twelve apples. Okay? If you don't know how to skip count four, eight, twelve, then you can just say four plus four, which equals eight, plus, and then eight plus four, which would equal twelve. Okay? This wants to know how could you arrange these apples into different equal groups? So instead of having four in each bag, what's another way that we could divide these apples into equal groups? Well, you could make two bags of six apples. Because if one bag had six apples plus another bag of six apples, that would equal 12 and that would also be an equal amount. All right, let's look right here where it says write numbers to describe the equal groups. So, if we look at the first one, it wants to know how many bags. So how many bags do we have? Not apples, but bags, so let's count it. One, two. So right here, I would write two. Two bags of blank is 
blank. So two bags of this right here wants to know how many is in each bag. So how many do we have in each bag? Not total, but how many do we have in each bag? So let's count it. One, two, three, four. Okay. So right here, I would write a four. So right here, I have a two because there's two bags of four. Now it wants to know the total. So two bags of four is how much? So now we need to know how much is all together. So instead of counting one, two, three, four by ones, we can say we know there's four in each one. So we can say four plus four. And that would be eight. So I would write my eight right here. So I would have two bags of blank is eight. So I just want to show you guys real quick, if you have a piece of paper because you don't have your Oracle book, I'm going to show you how I mean I want you to write it real nice and neat. So if we were going to look at, let's look at number one right here. I want to cover up so you don't see any other answers. So that's our number one right there. So I don't have to draw what's already on there. I'm just going to write, and I'm doing A. So I'm going to write, it's, I'm doing page 166. And I'm going to write A. So it wants to know how many bags of blank is blank. Okay. So I'm going to write two bags of four is So right here, I wrote what page it is, and then I wrote what letter I'm doing, A, and then I wrote it out. Now, let's say you don't want to have to write bags of is every single time. If you just want to write your numbers, you could. So you could just write, so we'll say or, you could do, you could write 2, comma, 4, comma, 8, and I'll also understand what that means, too. I know that you're just filling in the blanks. So that is how you could do it. Now, of course, I wrote it a little bit bigger and sloppier down there. But let's keep it where you can do it on one line. Then when I'm ready to go to the next one, I'll skip a couple lines. And then I'll write B. See how I skipped a couple lines? And then I wrote B. And then I'll just write the problem out again. I'm working it too, so we can all do it together. All right, so I just want to show you the answers that I got for the other ones to see if you got the same things. So for B, for the pineapples, I got three bowls of three is nine. C, the bananas, three bunches of four is 12. Three packs of five is 15 for the oranges.
All right, so let's go ahead and look at this page. This page is a little different from the last one because it wants you to draw the pictures this time. So if we look at the numbers, it says three bags of two is blank. So that means that we're going to have to draw some bags. Now, I really don't care if it looks like a bag. You all know I can't draw, so mine is probably just going to look like three big old circles. So it's up to you how you want to do it. So first we want to make sure that we draw three big bags. So just follow my mouse with your eyes and let's use our imagination real quick. So I'm going to draw three big bags. So that's one big bag, that's two big bags, and that's three big bags. Now it wants to know there's three bags of two. So in each bag, I need to draw two. Two of anything. I can draw two little circles. I can draw two smiley faces. I can draw two stars. So in each bag, I'm going to draw two, okay? Now it wants me to count up how many is in each bag. All right, so this is my little drawing of my three bags of two. So you see I drew three big circles, or my beautiful bags, okay? And I drew two little, uh, more circles inside each one. Then I wrote my math problem down here. So my math problem is 2 plus 2 plus 2, which equals 6. So once I found my total, then I just went back up here, and I wrote my total right here. Now you guys are going to just take a second, and you guys are going to work this page. So here's my picture and how I worked out my problems. So for B, I drew two stacks, like it said, and I drew five lines on each stack, and I wrote up my problem, five plus five, which equals 10. For C, it just said that it wanted one group, so I just drew one circle, and it wanted four in there. Well, we all know that four plus zero is four. And then for D, it wanted five jars, so I drew five jars, and then it wanted five in each jar, so I drew five little dots in each jar. And if you know how to count by your fives, then you could have said five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. If you don't know how to count by your fives, that's all right. You can just write a math problem. Five plus five plus five plus five plus five, and so your answer should be twenty-five. So that is all that we have for describing equal groups. I'm going to attach um, some more extra practice that you guys can do on your own. Um, and I'll go ahead and just go over like one with you just so you know. So this is how it's going to look. And it's the it's same exact thing. So down here, if you look at, let's look at these race cars right here. It says... Blank groups of blank is blank. We know groups is going to be the things that's holding all the little things going, okay? So our group is going to be the big squares or the big circles that's around the smaller things. See here, our groups would be the jars because they're bigger than the things that's in it. So if it wants to know how many groups there is, you count how many big squares or rectangles do we have that's grouping things together. So we have one, two. So I would write a two right there. Two groups of, well of what? It wants to know how many is in each group. 
okay? If you count those cards, you'd have five. So we have two groups of five. Then it wants you to find the total. You can say five plus five, which is 10. So right here you would have two groups of five is 10. And you just do that for both pages. 